What is going on, everybody? Bobby Five, on, Bobby Five with my man, Eric Sheets Haber. Hope everybody had a wonderful 4th of July. Um, definitely uh, definitely was an unusual one for, for us over here. We, it's, know, every, it's, unusual, it's all it's, in true DFS world. There's all kinds of stuff going on. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, anyway, but uh, yeah, I didn't end up getting to play much this weekend. Sheets, how did you do? And then uh, what do yeah, you do? I, I, I played. I, I hit a couple of things. I missed a couple of things. I got to actually hang out with Scan Scans. Uh, he came to the beach uh, yesterday. Evan oh, came nice. out. All, all he's doing is talking about DFS the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and um, um, and uh, yeah, DFS ways I think just okay. Golf, golf. I got like ninth in the single entry, um, which made up for the the the, the lottery stuff I lost. Um, just nothing, nothing major to speak. I'm ready to get back in and get back to uh, to to. Uh, analyzing the slate actually yeah let's do it um it's it this is a tough slate like my first look at it is it is a very very tough slate and uh, especially when it comes to pitching on to feel to feel comfortable with too many guys uh so i think it's going to be a, probably a small pool for me by the end of it or a very large pool. i haven't decided yet i really can't figure out who i actually want to play um but let's get into it so let's uh let's start off with texas and baltimore and this is one of the guys who I probably am going to play is Spencer Howard. Um, we, we, I, I think there's upside there. I, I don't know. I'm considering it anyway. Let's put it that way. I, I think that they're going to let him throw 70 to 80 pitches. Uh, I, th I think there's talent and he's 5,700. I, I don't really have a whole lot of guys I love on this slate. So he's actually a guy who I'm pretty strongly considering and, I don't think the optimizers or anything like that are going to early in the day anyway, have his projection anywhere near close to accurate. So I'm going more off of what I believe will happen, but uh, it, it, you know, that that's the speculative slate when you're taking uh, Spencer Howard as, as one of the guys you might end up having a priority play. And, and maybe I, I might, by the end of the day, if I hear more about how his pitch count, I might be totally off of this, but that's what I'm on right now. And uh, I also think you can make an argument for both offenses here. And I think they're viable. That's pretty much all I've got for this one sheets. Currently, um, uh, this early in the day, I have, you know, maybe a good six or seven handful of stacks that I'd be interested in. And neither of these, uh, this, these, uh, these teams are, are part of that mix. And I agree with you with respect to the pitching in general, um, is that I think is a pretty fishy pitching slate. So far be it from me to criticize any pitcher, honestly, on a slate like mm -hmm. this. So I, mean, I personally didn't get to, to, to Voth, but like I said, it's there's really nobody on this slate where I'm like, boy, if I play Watt and Voth, and then boy, then I don't get have, then I don't get to play X, you know. Um, so I uh, I am not getting them right now, but there's just no way I'm going to dispute pretty much any pitcher here. My my top rated pitchers are just really just really awful. <laughs> so, yeah. so 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 we, we'll and we'll get to some of those as we get to them. But uh, I'm not going to say no to Austin Voth. But uh, I don't. I just currently don't have them on my. Well, I, I want to make more of my case for Howard. The reason I, I don't think guys like Voth can be viable. I, I mean think, Howard. Sorry about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I think Voth has only pitched three innings. Howard did just pitch seven innings in the last minor league game and at eleven strikeouts. They kind of need more of it, him in a more of a starter role, and I think he's going to get it. So just I think I do think he'll pitch more than than a guy like Voth will in this game. That's all I just want to throw out. How about the offenses for you? No, no, I really didn't get to anything in that game. Oh, okay, great. Um, yeah. All right, uh, Espino and Sanchez, uh, Washington at Philly. Um, I I like Philly. That's pretty much all I have here. I, I think that they're one of the better offenses of the day, and I will probably be uh, heavily invested in them, uh, assuming that the, 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 there's some chance of rain there, but I don't think it's that thing, thing to really worry about. You've got 80, 81 degrees, wind blowing out to right center at 13 miles an hour. Um, you've got cheap Derek Hall in the middle of the lineup. Seems like a very good stack to me, and I am going to be uh, in on Philly today. Yeah, I have Philly rate as kind of a top three stack for me as well. Um, I was going to ask you about uh, the Derek Hall because she's showing up as a uh, – as, well, it's an interesting spot because you, you really kind of want to play Reese Hoskins, right? Um, yeah, so he could keep – yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting, and I think that Hoskins will be the more popular play. Um, but they're both going to have some ownership. I think Hoskins is going to be the popular one. So it gives you like an opportunity to maybe, I don't know. I, I, you're right. They can't both be overly owned. So it's kind of interesting. I, I think the Castellanos at 3,800 is kind of, kind of insulting. Um, yep. 
Uh, and yeah, so I, I agree with you. I think Philly is one of the premier stacks on the board and I'm not going to get to either of the pitcher. Yeah. And I think if you want to play Philly also, the other guys you could use, cause I think they're going to have some ownership. Uh, I think Stott down at the bottom of the order to fill out a five man stack would be a, the, the preferred one for me. If I had to pick one of the other guys, if you play Stott and Hall, I think you're going to have a little bit of a different Philly stack, at least than other people are going to. Um, all right. Uh, Pittsburgh and your Yankees in Pittsburgh. Um, I, this, look, is, this is Jameson Talion revenge. Talion revenge. Maybe it's, uh, yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> I have no interest in either any of the pitching. And I think that anytime there's a lefty pitching, there's, I'm always going to have interest in judge and Stanton, especially, um, but I'm not overwhelmingly excited about it here. And I am probably going to be more on the sidelines of this game. How about you? I don't know. I think I could, I think that with the pitching being as poor as it is, I, I overall on the slate, I, I, I could see, uh, I could see playing the Yankees. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so I, you know, I have them rated like a really strong play if salary didn't matter <laughs> and a really, you know, kind of fishy play if salary didn't matter. That, that would be the way I would look at it. Um, so if I can, if I can come up with some Spencer Howard slash, you know, somebody, pairing and get to the Yankees. I, I think it's, I think it's reasonable. I see this little cloud here. Again, I didn't look at the full weather yet. I see a little cloud on the DraftKings thing. So I don't think, it, I don't think it's too much to worry about. Okay. At least um, right now. And listen, you don't want to play Talion at 10 K, but, but, but maybe you do that. that that's right. kind of the way I'm looking right. at this. I think you might be right, by the way. Um, <laughs> like if he's 8.6, he's like 40% owned or 50% owned in the slate instead, because he's 10, he ends up like 15%. And you have a guy who at least has a leash. It's Pittsburgh. They'll let him play. They'll let him pitch. I mean, you know, he can get 20 fantasy points. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, maybe you're right. I think that that's actually a good point. So maybe I will I'll throw him back in. There was a, definitely some sticker shock seeing that price, but when you factor in everybody else on the slate, it's actually pretty reasonable. So um, I can get, I can get behind that sheet. I like that take even. And, and I do think you're going to get the Yankees really low owned if you do play them against Quintana here. Um, and that's a, you know, it's certainly appealing, especially for this, for the judge Stanton thing. I might, I might actually just do my little two man judge Stanton. I feel like every time I've done it this year, they both, they each hit home runs. So judges hits home runs every day though. So I don't, I don't know how you, how we don't just keep playing them. Speaking of sticker shock, I mean, what, what about these prices? What about, what about Springs 9,700 against Boston and Pavetta 10, three against anybody, you know, it's a, uh, uh, I, I, I honestly look at this kind of similarly that, 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 these prices are kind of absurd, but you have to play somebody. Um, right. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to just say, don't play these guys. Um, uh, Springs definitely has strikeout upside. Yep. Um, and Pavetta always has GPP winning upside. And yeah, their prices are just kind of ridiculous, but um, I, if you get 20 fantasy points out of a pitcher. You're, you're, you don't really care too much what their price is sometimes. Right. Um, right. So uh, I, I really think that they're both in play uh, and I'm not going to play either the hitting. In this game. Um, yeah. I mean, I, 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 I just like, I kind of agree with all that. I don't want to play these guys, these no. prices. Um, it's good hitting weather in Boston. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, you have a high total. This is a very high total for two pitchers that cost us, but I don't remember seeing a total of, like near 10 with two pitchers this high price before. Um, yeah. Um, shoot, I got to get that call at some point. Uh, anyway, Sheets, can we pause for one second? Yeah, go for it. Sorry about that. We were just about to get over to Cleveland and Detroit. And this is, if we seem wishy-washy, that's how I feel about this whole slate. I feel very, very wishy-washy on, on what I want to do. Um, Detroit and Cleveland. Sheets, what are you doing here? I, I think that, like... I mean, I think you can make an argue, argument for Quantrill as sick as that sounds at 8,300 just because it's Detroit and the slate is so bad, but I don't really want to do that either. I'm stuck here, man. I don't really have anything I'm all that interested in. I have, the, I have Detroit and Cleveland as two of the best values on the whole board. Oh, interesting. As far as, okay. As far as hitting goes. Um, um, so that's that's that. And it's, it's kind of weird, you know, because you're like, okay, now I could go play my great 10K pitcher, which I don't even want to play. You know, so um, there, it's, may, it might not be the slate to do this, but it's just as far as points per dollar and rankings and value and stuff like that, literally both of these teams, Detroit and Cleveland, are showing up for me. And I have a feeling they're going to be – I have a feeling they're going to be popular in the end um, as a result of that. I mean, um, Jose Ramirez's price is pretty egregious to be 4900 Is he under 5K now? I mean, that's, yeah, that's just crazy. 
Um, yeah, I could see, I could see it definitely for the value side of things. It's really hard when you look at the value though, and you're playing some of the guys you're playing for Detroit who just don't really have power, but it's great hitting weather in Detroit. It's 88 degrees and wind blowing out. Um, yeah, I, I, I can get behind it. I, I don't have a, a, a crazy strong secondary stack that I like behind Philly yet. So I, I could definitely see mixing in these, both of these stacks. Actually, I mean, you could, I mean, you have Grossman and Green are both under 3K. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Uh, you certainly make it work if you want to do that. So i um, not sure Grossman uh, plays today, but yeah, it's, it's possible. Right, well, you know what? If he doesn't play, it probably is not a good idea to play him. <laughs> yeah, but you've got uh, Green, whether it could be Green Reyes then or either way, like you're yeah. getting somebody really cheap. And then uh, for you know both races, and I definitely would pay. I definitely would pay up the fifty seven hundred for Baez because I don't think he'll be that popular at that price. Oh, he'll be unknown completely. Yeah. I don't think. I don't think. I think Green will be popular. I don't think anybody else in Detroit's getting any ownership, in my opinion. I do think. I mean, if I play Baez with like a bunch of three K twenty eight hundreds, I mean that's like the equivalent of paying like five thirty five hundred. So I don't worry right, about exactly. fifty seven hundred. So it's fine. It evens out exactly. Um, all right. Well, let's move over to the next one. Uh, St. Louis, Atlanta. This is another one where I think Atlanta is going to get a pretty decent amount of ownership, and I certainly don't don't mind it at all. Um, I think that I tried to like, I, I you know what? I don't think it. The both projection sites that I'm looking at right now don't have Atlanta being owned at all. If that happens, I think you play Atlanta heavily. I sort of just assumed inherently that Atlanta was going to be really popular with one of the highest totals in the slate. Great hitting weather. Acuna's back. Palante has been getting crushed. It just seemed like it, but they are they are expensive. So maybe it's hard to get them in a little bit. Uh, they're expensive outside of Olsen and Ozuna. So I I, I definitely could get behind uh, an Atlanta stack here, actually. Sheets, how about you? You like, you like Ian Anderson at all? I think he's another guy who belongs in the conversation. He's I don't think it's a fun conversation to have. Um, he's been horrendous. Um, would be a nice way to put it, actually. <laughs> His last few times out, he's been really, really bad. But it's just, and I don't, I, you know, he's good against righties, but I don't like this matchup anyway. I, I'm, I'm probably not going to end up playing him. I wonder, I, we never followed up on this last time Ian Anderson pitched, he was against Philly and, and early in the day, you really identified Philly as somebody you want, really were going to play. And they ended up scoring like a billion runs. I was wondering if did you end up actually playing? No, him? unfortunately I pulled off of them. Okay. okay. That was a shame. So uh, yeah, I, I don't really have much in this game. I, I really don't have any, any of the pitching or any of the hitting at all. So, um, but then again, like you said, I mean, you can never, never argue with Atlanta in, in hundred degree weather. That's for sure. It's weird to have the highest total team be one of the lower owned teams yep. <laughs> um, just because they're expensive. So in which case, you know, with a, on a non-pitching slate, maybe we do try and find a way to play them. Uh, this game, I don't know that this game is going to play uh, the Minnesota. Oh, the Minnesota games in flux. I didn't know that. So that, that, I mean, it's, it's just up in the air right now. And, and, and I only had interest in some Kopech anyway was, was in this game. I, I also could understand that the minute the Chicago, the stack for sure, but I probably was just going to play some Kopech. And if there's any risk at all, I'm not going to go there. So not very interested in this one right now, personally. What about you? I agree. Same thing. I, I, I would probably get to some Kopech if this game goes, but as I've been, been pretty, pretty solid on this, I mean, really any risk, I'm just off. So yeah. uh, we'll just, I'll just continue to, any weather risk, uh, I'm just off. So, and yep. uh, we'll continue to monitor this. And but it's not as if Kopech is like just an incredible play. You know what I mean? Right. Not with the way he's looked. No, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, no, no, no hitting for me here. No, uh, no pitching. Just kind of a pass. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, here I think you're going to get the chalkiest pitcher in this next game, and I, I think that there's there's certainly plenty of reason you could play Garcia. Just you know, KC doesn't strike out like crazy. It's 9,500 for a guy we're used to paying less for. It's, it's, pro- it's probably the right thing to do uh, in your cash game lineups for sure. It's the right thing to do, but it's not the most exciting thing when you have like a 40% owned Garcia. And then you've had Granky who's been decent the last couple of times out. I think he's probably going to get rocked tonight. Um, he has to, right? I think Houston is, is a really, really good play um, along the Atlanta and Houston are the spend up teams that, that I think make the most sense. What do you yeah, think? Luis Garcia, I haven't really finished the projection because the Luis Garcia issue is always an issue for me. Um, I'll get to it later. And Houston, they're all, I mean, not they're all. I mean, Alvarez is 6,000. Yikes. That's yeah. tough. Altuve, he's been 50. He's been sort of this price. Tucker, 5,200. Brett Bregman's very cheap. Jeremy Pena, I like him. Yep. Um, and, um, and, yeah, like you said, Luis Garcia – 
20 fantasy points is certainly in the, uh, in there. Um, if you want to play, is, is he a guy that you can steal bases off? I always ask that when Kansas City's the, uh, uh, the Kansas City's the opponent. Yeah. Um, I, I, I couldn't get to Kansas City on this stack. In this I didn't either. either anyway. ass, but no. yeah, you can, you can run a little bit on him, but it's not like a, a egregious. I mean, like Houston generally, even if there's a guys you can kind of run on, you've got a good enough catcher in Maldonado or Hester, whoever's playing that they don't, people don't tend to run like crazy on them the way they do other teams. Um, all right. Uh, Chicago and Milwaukee. And ah, this is like, uh, I think this is, this is probably just a pass, but I'm just going to point out that I was the one who was saying, I'm going to take a little bit, not entirely a victory lap, but I did, I did talk up Hendricks his last couple starts and he pitched really, really well. He put up 29 and 23 fantasy points. He was 5,100 the last time out against Cincinnati and everybody in the world stacked Cincinnati and Hendricks went out there and I think he had the, either the best score or the second best score on the slate as the lowest owned and cheapest pitcher on the slate. So uh, I'm probably just going to stay away from this one, but I mean, I guess if we're talking about having no pitching, Hendricks should at least be in the conversation. Right. Yeah. I'm going to pass on this game. I'm just going to, I'm going to go for your first comment that I'm just kind of okay. leaning to passing. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm always afraid to play. I, I don't know. I'm always afraid to play against, against Milwaukee in Milwaukee and all this stuff. But yeah, like you said, I mean, Hendricks is, uh, he, he, he beat the Chicago win game, uh, pretty, pretty nicely, I think. Yep. He um, dominated. But yeah, I'm, I'm probably just going to pass. Yep. All right. Well, I was looking at this total of this next game, this giants game in, in Arizona and, and, thinking that the roof might be open because of how high the total was, but it's not. Um, well, you're, the, you're the Alex Wood guy. What, what do we do here? I, I've never played Alex. At 9,200, it's been probably years since I've played Alex Wood, but this is a spot where you probably could do it. It makes the most right. sense, you know. It's uh, it's Arizona. Uh, it's it's the uh, same play as these other over it, overpriced guys, you know. It's yeah, like, without any real K upside for all these guys. I mean, I think Garcia is a better play just because he's got a higher strikeout upside, but – yeah, I mean, yeah, Wood Wood is on the board, and 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 Arizona and, and the Giants are definitely on the board in this in this game. Um, I don't like necessarily love them against lefties because you know the ghost of Evan Longoria and and uh, Wilmer Flores, Darren Ruff. There's a couple guys, Austin Slater, but then he gets pinch hit risk involved, and it's all that stuff. Um, I prefer the, the the Giants against righties, but I could I could I could definitely I don't mind the Giants stack if you do end up going that way. I just want to point out that there is some pinch hit risk for guys like Slater. Uh, if they play Yerman Mercedes, he's got pinch hit risk. Uh, Darren Ruff on less, less pinch hit risk uh, than those other guys, but there is some risk for, for the Giants to actually just be careful a little bit. And, uh, you know, we'll see how their lineup comes out. If they play the lefties, obviously those lefties are not going to get pinch hit for. Um, yeah. Uh, what do you think about that? Anything for you? Yeah, I'm probably going to get to probably get, like I said, the Alex Woods is part of that same pool. Yeah. The guys, I, the guys that I don't want to play that I might play. Um, um, uh, also, can can I can I can I can I talk you into San Francisco? Oh, I said I said I I, I just went through all. Wild. Oh, you did. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I have them as one of my top stacks, actually. Yeah, they're um, fine. Just just keep in mind, you're probably only getting two at bats out of some of those guys. That's true. That's true. Um, so just make sure you keep that in mind. And oh no, if only Slater. But that happens all the time. <laughs> Why don't they leave Austin Slater and you a home run? Well, <laughs> that's what they do. They're pretty consistent about it too. Right, how, how do you feel? How do you feel about Kikuchi Chalk? <laughs> Not great. Um, <laughs> it's it, it's it's the guy who I would have picked out in this range the most. I was fortunate with him in the last time out. I, I used him about, I think it was like ten percent, which was nine point nine percent higher than anybody else did. Um, but. I, I don't feel great about it. I think that he's definitely in, in the mix. I think that uh, if you're not going to play him, I do think that using some of the cheap Oakland bats is an interesting route. And, yes. and even some of the not cheap ones. I mean, uh, Loriano and Murphy are legitimate players. You've got Bethencourt, no Noise and uh, Pinder all in there. I think are all mildly interesting. Uh, Nick Allen leading off at 2.2. There's a lot of cheap options that you can use if you're not going to play Kikuchi. And he certainly is a, a highly volatile pitcher. Um, the interesting thing is on the other side, getting Toronto and not a great hitting environment compared to where they, I mean, well, certainly worse than where they usually play, but I still think you got some wind blowing out. It's only 68 degrees. 
it just feels like Toronto could have, could be one of those breakthrough teams that no one's really, you know, they're really expensive. No one's going to play them. It's a later game. It's in Oakland. No one wants to play games there, but there's a ton of power here on this, the top yeah. five for their team. And, and then down to Chapman, a little Chapman revenge. Um, I think Toronto is interesting here. So I have Toronto actually as my fifth sack of the day. So I have Kikuchi rated as the top point per dollar pitcher on the slate, which yep. is a, which is kind of annoying. Um, uh, I'm probably going to do something different, but um, he certainly looks okay, but he's, you know, he's, he's been, he can get rock man and open, open can do it to people. They've done it before. Um, yeah. So if, if he does end up being really chalky, which I actually don't think he will after in, in the end, I don't know. I think people are going to do this. Some Alex Wood, some other, whatever, but um, uh, yeah, I'll probably get to him, but, but probably in the big buy and I'll try to avoid it. I'd rather, Toronto's interesting. I didn't think about that one. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna put that one on hold. Um, mm-hmm. They they right now they they they're not showing up for me, but I don't know why. It's because, because they're Oakland, and and I'm telling you that this total. If this game was in Toronto, they'd they'd have a total of five point eight, and they'd be yeah. Ahead. I mean, but look, even like Espinal at thirty eight hundred and Tiasco forty one hundred. I mean, I yeah, so it all looks good to me. I don't know. Yeah, and then they, yeah, fill it out with Vlad and. The well, who the, who's pitching for Oakland? Dave Stewart. I mean, what is what's going on here? Yeah, no, it's. I think, this, I think I think this is a good spot, actually. I really do. So, I'm I'm on board with uh, with playing some Blue Jays for sure. I, I'll tell you what I'd like to do. Um, you want to play the Dodgers? I want to play six Dodgers. Can you, do <laughs> you want to play more than you're allowed? Okay. No, oh no, I'm going to play six Dodgers. I'm going to play Mitch White. Oh, okay, I got. You. And then I'm going to play five Dodgers. <laughs> right. That's kind of what I want to do. I listen. I know Marquis. You know, we 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 played him a lot, and and he's had some good games, some poor games, and and um. You know, the fact is, is that he's, you know, because he's had some good games, maybe, maybe just maybe he can keep the Dodgers ownership off my back, you know? Um, but uh, that's what I want to do. I mean, I kind of, I kind of like the Dodgers here. I want to play as many of them as I can play, including the pitcher mm-hmm. and uh, just kind of just sit on my ass all night, just root against everybody else. That, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. I, I, I think that's, uh, that's completely viable. It's always weird to me. I mean, they just played each other in cores in the same matchup and the Dodgers got the better of that one. Um, they, they, you know, they've got mixed results against uh, Marquis over the past and they have they, this very strange thing. You're going to have, it's not like we're talking about the, the best Dodger lineup out there that we've ever seen. Um, although Mookie Mookie's back now. Um, but well, I guess it's not too bad with Lamb in there. It's Lamb, Lamb is the, the BVP versus Marquis. So he gets in there, I guess. Um, I think the Dodgers are going to end up being fairly popular here, and I like them, but I don't have them as high as Philly, Atlanta, or Houston. What do you think about Mitch White with like a five inning ceiling? You don't, you don't like that? It's it's so hard for me to get the guys <laughs> who just don't don't. I like I, I like I, I'm a, I'm glad he's a Dodger. Like I, I like yeah. him. Um, I think there's a chance that he. I mean, but I I think he actually gets some ownership tonight too. Yeah. So like, if I'm gonna play, if I'm gonna play the ownership one, I guess I want the leash in Kikuchi. Yeah. But I don't feel great about any of it. And that's why mm-hmm. I'm going back to guys like Howard. Like Howard, to me, might have the same kind of pitch limits that Mitch White has. He's 5,700 in the earlier game. Um, so doing that, at, at, depending on where Howard's ownership ends up, is probably what I'll end up doing with one of, you know, Garcia, Kikuchi. What, um, what, 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 you know what I'm going to go back to? Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, how, how about your Kyle Hendricks? I mean, yeah, what about I mean, it? yeah, there's a leash. Yeah. Why not him? See, that's the thing is if you're going to, yeah. we're going to talk about white, like, shouldn't we think just as much about Hendricks? I mean, Hendricks has put up three games out of his last four that better than white's had all season. Right. And it's, you know, it's, I don't know. So I, I kind of, I, I agree with you. I think maybe Hendricks as a low owned option is an interesting way to go. It doesn't feel great to say that on a giant slate, but like, what else are we doing here? And then watch well, what happens tomorrow. You know, you know, you know you're, you're, you're probably supposed to do is just play freaking Luis Garcia. <laughs> You're supposed to play Garcia. You're definitely supposed to play Garcia. And then and then maybe pick. Maybe pay, maybe just pay up or if you got Italian and be done with it. I mean, but that's not so easy to say, be done with it, because then who you play? It's a lot right. of salary there. <laughs> right. Uh, well, but then, but you know what? You have these Derek Hall guys, you know what I mean? You got the, the, the Hall Stott for Philly. You play all of Philly and then... Just, just for the hell of it, if I put in Talion and Luis Garcia, I mean that's easy. No problem. Yeah, it's true. True, you could do it. Um, the problem is, yeah, I think that actually is. It actually makes a lot of sense. It just does feel weird to tie on price, but like, this is the kind of slate. Like, 
it's probably good enough, man. <laughs> like right? 10K is probably fair based on the way, you know, when you compare all the rest of the pictures, it's really hard to feel good with anyone, uh, including Garcia and tie on to me, but those are probably the guys along with Alex Wood, who you maybe feel the same, right. way, you like 15 fantasy points. Yep. Um, which might be enough tonight. Um, so I kind of agree with that. I, I still want to throw in my Howard thing and see if, see what I can do with that. If, if, if I get the word that he's going to get enough pitches, I think I'm probably going to go that direction, especially if he somehow stays. Well, well, tell me about, tell me about this guy. Isn't this, the... he's talented. Um, he's a guy who's, you know, they, they used more in the two to three inning role this season. They were bringing him up. He was supposed to be, you know, he struggled a lot early last year, but still has a pretty good pitch mix. Uh, good K per inning guy really good in uh, the minors this year at triple a um, he uh, what's he see he had a 1.5 he had a 0.53 whip oh but that's only over 17 I things I um, um, he's you know he's just he's got decent stuff and even even before that you know the minor leagues are always a little different but he, I mean he, he had a 3.2 era over the other other 12 25 innings I, I just think he's he's got enough upside on a slate to, to, to be kind of a weird guy especially you know me, I love guys who haven't been seen that much because they, they tend to have, you tend to get the, the maximum out of their strikeout upside. So it's not the most exciting play, but I think you get 70 to 80 pitches and I think that's probably good enough. So I'll, I'll take a shot on him. Yeah. I'm just looking again. These, these are some really, really fishy pitching option. What about, about Springs? Uh, making up the personal thing and then in, in, against Boston who doesn't strike out as much against lefties. I mean, this is a weird slate to have. He's, he hasn't gotten more than, I mean, he's got he's, best of the season is 23 fantasy points. You know what I mean? Like, right. <sighs> I mean, you have, you have, you have this many games and there's only two pitchers who have a five and a half K prop and nobody else higher than that. Nobody higher than that. That's insane. Like, I, I don't know if I've seen that. Like, and then watch, we'll get the we'll get the one where, where everybody's on the same slate. And by the way, if that if that Chicago game is is for any reason good, I I think that you you bring Kopech back into the mix on this one. And uh, I, I just can't quite do the Ian Anderson thing. And part of me wants to a little bit, but I, I don't think I'm gonna yeah. be able to do it. I think we probably are gonna. I, I think what you said initially makes the most sense. The the Garcia tie on or something like that, just to try right. and get those the shirt the safe points. And yeah, they could have an outlier performance and and be a little better. Maybe if you wanted to be a little bit more gamble in you maybe you play uh you play pavetta with uh with with one of those guys or something like that because pavetta with a wider range of outcomes but probably has a higher ceiling than all those guys so all right so so you're starting to fade out in your audio so this is a good time to call this okay, um, I'll, sorry, I'll, I'll let you know about about later i guess one okay. of us will be live at least yep, um yep. and uh when do you usually go on like 5 45 or 6 i think it'll be six tonight okay all right sounds good man all right. All right, guys. Take it easy. Good luck to everybody. And uh, we'll see you at six.